In this video, we'll bounce the equation AlNO33 plus KOH. That's aluminum nitrate plus potassium hydroxide. Let's count the atoms up. We have one aluminum. And then when I have a polyatomic ion, this NO3, it's called the nitrate ion. I have it here, and it stays together in the reaction. I have nitrate on this side as well. I can just call this one item, and it makes the balancing much easier and less prone to error. So let's say we have one NO3 here, three times the one, three of them. Potassium's one. OH is a hydroxide, another polyatomic ion. It stays together. We have OH here, and we have OH here. So I'll say I just have one OH here on the reactants. On the product side of the equation, we have one aluminum, one nitrate, that NO3, one potassium, and then three times the one, three of these OHs of this hydroxide polyatomic ion. Looks like the nitrates and the hydroxides aren't balanced. So we could just put a three in front of the KNO3. Then I have the nitrate, one times three. So those are balanced. And then one times three for the potassium. Now the potassiums aren't balanced. But if I put a three in front of the KOH, I have one times three. That fixes the potassiums. And because the three applies to everything, I have one of the hydroxides, the OH, times three. Gives me three of those, and I'm done. This equation is balanced. So by counting these polyatomic ions here as just one item, you can see how it makes it a lot easier to balance. As long as I have one here and I have one on the other side, this is a pretty good strategy for solving equations like this. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for aluminum nitrate plus potassium hydroxide. Thanks for watching.